Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hey, um, as you can see, I just pulled in my beautiful, very, very low uh, Toyota Celica GTS. It's very close to the ground. Um, I used to have old videos on how to, and you guys got a lot of, uh, hey, will you, will you show us how to do things for this type of car? So um, a Celica or a Celica GT or a Celica GTS, how to change the oil. So this is just gonna be a, a basic oil change on what I use and what I've been using for many years um, to preserve the engine in these cars. I use a Toyota OEM oil filter. Um, I'll go ahead and show you, and then I'll show you the oil that I use. Uh, I did bring the car in. The car's not fully warmed, so I'm gonna warm up the car just a little bit more so that the oil gets warmed and when it wants to come out of the oil pan, it's very nice and smooth. So that's the first thing first that we're gonna do. Uh, but let me go ahead and jump over to the products that I use on my 2ZZ um, Toyota Celica here in the United States. So I am gonna use a little bit of Tecron. This is fuel cleaner. I use this every now and then. Um, probably every 5,000 or 6,000 miles. It gives you uh, a deep clean for the injectors as well as it cleans off the valves. Um, it's a nice detergent that I like to put in the car. Um, I, I highly recommend doing this every now and then. It does, it does really restore um, what it says on here. It maximizes fuel economy, restores lost engine power, reduces rough idling. It's, it, if you use gas like 91 or 92 and you don't have 94, this is a nice little fuel treatment that I recommend doing every now and then. So I will use that. This is the um, part number that I use for the oil filter right there. So oil filter from Toyota. I bought like 10 of these or 20 of these a while ago and I keep them, so I'll use that. And then um, here's the oil that I like to use right here. This is by Castrol. It's uh, 5W30 right here. Uh, advanced full synthetic, so it's fully synthetic. Um, Castrol Edge. They have like different versions of this, but I've always just used 5W30 full synthetic. That's what I use by Castrol. I've always used that. Um, I'm gonna actually show you something real quick. So on here it says right there 5W30, that's the original uh, oil that I recommend. I know people use other ones like on um, Evora or Elises and Exiges, but this is the, the one that I recommend. Alright, now that I've had the 2ZZ on for a good about 5-10 minutes, um, it's starting to warm up. I can feel there's warm heat, so that means the oil is coming through here and it's warmer. So the oil is being circulated, so this is a good time to shut the engine off. Um, after we shut the engine off, um, we'll go ahead and start draining the oil. So I've actually seen this where people drain the oil and they weren't able to get the, the fill cap off. So make sure you're able to get the fill cap off. Um, very important. So we'll go ahead and take the fill cap off. Let that breathe a little bit. Uh, and then uh, before you do anything too, I forgot to mention this. Always raise the car. I always do this. And do not do it with um, just a jack. Do it with jack sands. Because I don't want you to be crushed by your beautiful Celica. So do jack sands. I do front right here. So I raise it on each side. Um, and then I do the jack stands right there on each one. Red and black, red and black, red and black, red and black, red and black. <laughs> so, um, all right, now we're gonna go ahead and get down below and start loosening the um, drain plug as well as removing the oil. Okay, so here's my drain plug that I have on my car right here. It is a 14 millimeter right here. Um, this is what I have on it. It has a magnet on it. So as you guys can see, it's collected junk off of there. It's pretty interesting. You can hear the oil's draining. Let's go ahead and see if uh, we can see the oil draining. So oil is draining um, right here. A 14 millimeter. So there's the oil, uh, the rest of it is draining. It's kind of dirty back there. I'm gonna wipe it down with some purple power. Um, but this 14 millimeter right here, it, it has that magnet on it. It's pretty cool. So it's collected junk. So let's go ahead and wipe this off and get it. Okay, so here is the uh, oil filter remover. You can get these. Um, they're sold at mini auto pot store. Um, I have it, it fits perfectly on this OEM one. So that sits snug in there and then you just do kind of lefty loosey. That is how I remove the OEM one. So here's the new one. Uh, I removed and discarded the old one. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down there and I'll show you where that goes. So we're gonna come down below and we'll wipe it clean. So this is where the oil filter goes, it's right here. Uh, I did lefty loosey and drained it all off right there. I'm gonna go wipe this. Now, once I put the oil filter on, I will do a little bit of cleaning around that area. I just want to make sure there's a good seal, because it's pretty dirty, but I don't want any of that to go actually into the motor, the engine. So wipe that all clean. Now we'll go ahead and grab the new oil filter. Quick tip, take the funnel that you have, an oil funnel, and put some of it in the filter so you don't have any kind of dry start. So fill the filter about 
uh, all the way full or three quarters full. Put oil in it, the new oil in it. Rub it around the seal so that you get a nice seal. Put it on the uh, threads so that you have a nice smooth thread. And then go down and jump down real quick and we'll slide this bad boy back on. Now you might say, hey Mitch, we didn't put the uh, oil cap or oil drain plug back on. I usually don't do that because I like to run a little bit of oil um, all the way through. So just a little bit. So I like to run a little bit of the new oil through. Just like that. Maybe a fourth of a quart. And it'll drain out through the drain plug. It'll just get all the junk that was in there that you guys saw on the... Um, that, that magnetic drain plug. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside and we'll put it on, we'll put the uh, drain plug back. Okay, so I make sure you definitely tighten the um, drain plug. Hand tighten pretty much as tight as you can. You can use the wrench um, that I showed you for the oil filter to tighten it a little bit further. Um, you don't need to go crazy tight on that. Just make sure it's pretty firm on there, hand tight because uh, you'll check for oil leaks after we start the car back up. Now, before we start the car back up, we need to fill it, the Choosy Z back up. In my opinion, I've always ran a little bit of oil through, so about a quarter of a quart. Because um, this 2ZZ, they say it takes like 4.2, 4.3 uh, quarts of oil, and these are five quarts right here. But since I ran a little bit through, through it, uh, oil through it already to wash out the junk, I'll go ahead and just fill this entire thing up. This is what I've always done. Uh, it's never over overfilled the 2ZZ because you'll get a whipping motion. Um, so this is kind of what I've always done. Now if you have a Moroso, a Moroso oil pan, you'll need to add more. Uh, six quarts. So this and one more. Once that's been filled like that, it'll all settle down. It'll go run through all the 2ZZ. You grab your oil cap and do righty tighty, throw that back on there. I just have an OEM oil cap. I'll probably get a different one on there sometime soon. Uh, get your Mitch Doray chamois. Uh, like I said, if you go to my website, you should get two. Um, one to wash and dry your car, because these do excellent. There's no scratching, these things are super nice. But I always like using a microfiber to clean. So this is my dirty one. Um, and then all, you can still wash this, even with the oil on it, and you can wash it in the wash, and it'll come out so you can use it again. But I always get two, uh, one for keeping the car clean and then one for doing dirty jobs. The next thing is you can always recycle your oil. Um, so I got this nifty little pan that has a, as I spilled a little bit, uh, has a little drain on here. I'm gonna put all the old oil back in that new uh, jug. I've always done it this way, it's pretty easy. And then you can recycle this oil. Most our auto parts will take this for free. Um, all you do is like sign a piece of paper and they'll take it. Or sometimes you just drop them off, uh, it's pretty easy. All right, so the next thing is that we're gonna get a nice start up with the new oil and check for any oil leaks. And then while the car's running, we'll lower the car back down and drive and put the car away. And that's pretty much how you change the oil. Um, part number, the oil I use, uh, 14 millimeter to remove the um, aftermarket um, drain plug. Uh, I wipe it all down, clean it all, use your microfiber from Detroit.com, fill it up. One more thing though, I do wanna put that new um, Chevron Tecron, and I'll, I'll put that in before uh, before I wrap the video. So let's go ahead, uh, I've turned the car off. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the uh, gas cap. Open this. I recommend doing this too. Uh, new oil and adding this will really increase your um, miles per gallon. So oil's changed. 
machines. We're filling it up with the uh, complete fuel cleaner by Tecron, and that should be good. That's how I change my oil. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty efficient. Um, I think that this is a good, good way to do it. It lasts a long time like this, about 3,000, 4,000 miles is how I do it, even with hard driving and fun acceleration. This really takes care of the um, engine, so this is how I do it. Um, clean, fuel cleaner, I really believe, does help a little bit. Cleans up the injectors, uh, gets all the junk. Now, since I do have a cooled air intake uh, on there, it is prone to suck up more garbage. Um, that being said, when you do suck up stuff and it goes into the intake manifold, it can get into the crankcase. Um, so maybe, maybe you would need to change it more than if you had an OEM air box or if you had a uh, short ram intake. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but I'm still gonna run every 3,000 or 4,000 miles. I'll change my oil right around there. And yeah, every transmission change, I'll probably do like 10 to 15, 20,000 right there. Maybe 15,000, I'll change the transmission fluid. Um, if it feels notchy, then I'll change it. And maybe I'll show you guys how to do that again. I just changed all these probably like a year ago, not even, so they, and I haven't driven the car that far, so that many miles, so it's good. So uh, next thing's next, I'm gonna go ahead and move the car out and wrap up the video. So that's how you change your oil. Pretty easy, um, not very difficult. The car sounds smooth, buttery smooth, it idles perfectly, sounds brand new. Uh, I recommend doing it every, again, 3,000 3, to 4,000 miles. Uh, if you have any questions, write down below, I'll help you. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, guys, and, and I'll see you on the next video.